good morning my dear students i anu welcome you once again to this online class of computer for class 7 in this presentation we are again going to begin with lesson 2 that is number system we would be discussing all the topics which were left uncovered in part 1 of number system before beginning moving on further i would make you remind that which were the topics which we have already covered in part 1 and i also hope that you have already went through the presentation and understood the content in the first presentation we have already discussed about the various type of number systems which is a number system that is followed by computer how we can convert binary numbers into decimal numbers how we can do binary addition and binary multiplication besides that i have also given you few of the questions that you need to do at your home i hope all of you have tried after going through the presentation so now let us begin with today's topic Now, first topic is conversion of decimal numbers into binary numbers. How we can convert any of the decimal number into binary number? So here are the steps for that. In order to convert any decimal number into binary equivalent, we divide the number by two. Again, I am repeating. In order to convert any decimal number into binary equivalent we divide the number by 2 we already know that binary number system is based on two numbers that is 0 and 1 we keep on dividing the number by 2 till we get 1 as a quotient then starting from the last remainder we write all the remainders from left to right to get the binary equivalent number i repeat this point starting from the last remainder we write all the remainders from left to right to get the binary equivalent number so this is how we can convert any of the decimal numbers into the binary numbers in the presentation part 1 we have already done how to convert a binary number into decimal number in that we were multiplying with the powers of 2 if you remember and here in order to convert any of the decimal numbers to binary numbers we need to divide that particular number by 2 of course the number which has to be divided is a decimal number by taking the view or looking at the view of the example by looking at the example you might be more clear with how to do the following so let us see the example now here i have taken a decimal number that is 79 to convert it into a binary base 2 in the presentation 1 i have already told you children that in case of decimal number system there is no need to write the base of the number system whereas in all the other system whether it is binary decimal hexadecimal octal we need to mention the base of the number system now you might have seen i have written the number 79 okay so we have to divide 79 by 2 and we keep on writing the remainder on the right end So seventy nine divided by two, two threes are six. One carry nineteen, so two nines are eighteen. So on dividing seventy nine by two, we get thirty nine. So what is the remainder that is written at the top? That is remainder one. Now this thirty nine would be again divided by two. We keep on writing the remainder at the right end. So thirty nine divided by two, two ones are two, one carry again, two nines are eighteen. So it gives two nineteen, and one is a remainder. So again one is written in the second row. Then again we divide nineteen, two nines are eighteen, one is left over that is written in third row. 
two fours are eight. Again, remainder is one that is written in fourth row. Then two twos are four. Right. So what is the remainder now? It is zero. So remainder is zero. That is written in row five. Then two ones are two. Remainder is zero. Now we have get got one as a remainder that is finally at the end. So now we cannot divide it further. So that remainder one is again written in the last row. So this is how we follow, or that we can divide any of the decimal number by two. Now, how do we write the binary equivalent of that? In the previous slide, I have already told you. After writing the remainder at the bottom, at the extreme right end. Now, in order to write the binary number, we have to move from left to right. So I would be starting from the bottom. So one is written at the extreme left. Then zero, then zero, then one, 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 one at the extreme right. So this is how we can convert any of the decimal number to the binary number. Let us see one more example in order to make you understand better. So let us now. I have to convert forty-two into binary number again. So again, now here, children, I have not mentioned the question and the remainder word. So you should be knowing the middle row, that is second column, is a question, and the third column is a remainder. So forty-two when divided by two, it gives twenty-one as a question and zero as a remainder. Then again, two twenty-one on dividing on division by two, it gives ten as a question and one as a remainder. Again. Ten on division by two gives five as a question and zero as a remainder in third row. Then again, five on division by two gives two as a question and one as a remainder. Then two on division with two it gives one as a question and zero as a remainder. And the question that is left at the end one it is written again at the extreme right end in the same row of the remainder. Now again, in order to write the binary equivalent of forty-two, again we'll begin with the bottom remainder and we'll move towards left to right. So one zero one zero one zero is the answer, or it is the binary equivalent of the decimal number forty-two. So let us move further. So this is how we can do the. Conversion of any of the decimal number into the binary number by following the same approach. Now let's move further. That is binary subtraction. Now the rules of the binary subtraction are as follows: zero minus zero is equal to zero, like we have as a normal subtraction in maths. Then one minus zero is one. One minus one is zero. Now zero minus one is equal to one. How? By borrowing one from the bigger number. Again, I am repeating these rules. Zero minus zero is equal to zero. One minus zero is equal to one, and one minus one is equal to zero. And zero minus one, it is very important, equal to one by borrowing one from the bigger number. Again, you would be understanding binary subtraction better by looking into the examples of the following topic. Now, let us see the examples based on the binary subtraction. Now, in order to subtract one one from one one zero zero, what is the approach that we need to follow? For that, you must remember the rules of the binary subtraction. So let us see now how we can do. First, we write the bigger number that is one one zero zero, and at the second row we will write one one. Now, in order to do any of the subtraction, we should begin with the right end. So similarly, here also we are going to begin with the right end. Now, by looking at the right, we can see that the rightmost column has zero and one. 
so the rule of binary subtraction was when zero is subtracted with one the answer is one with the borrow one from the bigger number but at the second place also the situation is same so we need to make a borrow from the third place that is one so that one is borrowed by the second column so that becomes one zero now this one zero is equal to two in decimal number so that is why we can say it has become a bigger number now in order to subtract one from itself but before subtraction now this one would be again going to the first column why because the first would be borrowing from the second person second neighbor so again so this one would be going to the rightmost end so that becomes 1 0 that is 2 2 minus 1 is 1 at the right end now at second place we also had 2 but 1 has been given to the first column so that is why now at second place we are only left with 1 that is why 1 minus 1 the rule of subtraction gives 0 Now at third place, this one is already borrowed by first and second persons or neighbors. So that is why here the outcome is zero. Nothing is left over, so zero would be copied as it is. While we talk about the extreme left, only one is left. Nothing has to be subtracted from that, so that is why the answer becomes one. So here the answer becomes one zero zero one. Now let us move to. Slide. Now, in order to subtract one zero one zero with one zero zero, again we'll follow the same rules of the binary subtraction. Starting from the right end, zero minus zero is equal to zero, and one minus zero is equal to one. Now, while talking at the third place, we already know that. it is 0 minus 1 so 1 has to be borrowed from the bigger number that is at the fourth place so it would be borrowing from the fourth place so that becomes 1 0 1 0 means 2 in decimal number so 2 minus 1 is 1 that is why the answer has come 1 at the third place is that clear so and what is left at the fourth place that is 0 so answer comes 0 1 1 0 children you would be able to understand the concept better if you keep on trying more questions related at the end of the video for your practice now let us move to the next topic that is binary division what are the rules of binary division the rules of the binary divisions are as follows 0 divided by 1 is equal to 0 and 1 divided by 1 is equal to 1 like in math you already know that if we divide 0 or 1 by 0 it has no meaning is that clear or the division by 0 is not possible so same as the rule here so now let us see the examples which are related to the binary division now let us see the examples based on the binary division divide 1010 by 101 Here one zero one is a divisor, and one zero one zero is a dividend. Like we do in the normal division, here also we follow the same approach. On beginning the division, we know that one zero one on multiplication with one will give one zero one as a result. So now. we are going to follow the rules of binary subtraction in binary division so we will do the subtraction like 1 minus 1 would be 0 0 minus 0 would be 0 and 1 minus 1 would be 0 so finally the result is 0 again we'll copy the next number that is 0 so what is left in the remainder that is 0 so remainder is 0 and question is 1 0 why we have placed 0 in the question because we have copied the 0 and it could not be divided further that is why we have to place a 0 in the question as well 
like we are doing in the normal division the same approach is followed following the rules of the binary division let us see the next next example divide 10101 by 011 here 011 is a divisor and 10101 is a dividend again 011 when multiplied with 1 will give the same result 011 we would be following the rules of binary subtraction so 1 minus 1 would give 0 and 0 minus 1 by borrowing the 1 from the bigger number will give the 1 as the answer so what is the remainder 10 and 0 is a next copied number so we have 100 now Again, zero one one on multiplication with one will give the same result. Following the rules of binary subtraction, zero minus one will give one by borrowing the one from the bigger number, and the second place will give zero, and the third place will also give zero. So the result is zero zero one. Copying the next number that is one again, we are going to multiply with one. and finally we will get the 0 1 1 doing binary subtraction we will get the 0 as a remainder so the question here it is 1 1 1 and remainder is 0 my dear children by practicing more and more questions you would be able to do the you would be able to learn the concept better so i tell you that please do your homework whatever is given at the end of the presentation so that you can have the grip on these type of questions now here in this slide i have shared some decimal equivalent of the binary numbers especially the counting numbers 0 to 10 which could help you in the binary division so 000 is equal to 0 001 is equal to 1 010 is equal to 2 011 is equal to 3 100 is equal to 4 101 is equal to 5 110 is equal to 6 111 is equal to 7 100 is equal to 8 1001 is equal to 9 1010 is equal to 10 you can learn them if you want it is going to help you in the binary division and while solving other questions of the the following chapter now these are the questions which you need to try by yourself at home how do we convert any decimal number into binary equivalent Convert sixty-nine into the equivalent binary number. Convert decimal numbers into equivalent binary numbers. So, what are the numbers which are given here? Forty-three, sixty-four, one zero zero hundred, ninety-five, eighty-two, two hundred and. Now you have to subtract the following binary numbers and also divide the following binary numbers. students please do not forget to write your name class and section after watching the video and also do the work that is given to you thank you